In this video, we're going to do more of a show and tell just to discuss what camera effects and different visual effects were used and created for the end result. If we go into the action schematic and look at the camera setup, we'll see that we have several different camera effects, matchboxes applied to the camera. There was a Stingray ambient inclusion camera effects was applied to this. There was a Stingray reflections that was applied to this. And there was a Stingray depth of field that was used in the end result. Also, we had shadow cast on for the lights, if you remember, and one of the lessons. And in the bat setup, I have one frame rendered of each one of the different effects, just to give an example or to see how they affected the watch. This is the final image with everything. You can see reflections, you see depth of field, you see the, the shadows being cast, you see the ambient inclusion. So this is the end result with everything enabled and turned on. And if I go to this next one, you're going to see this is without the camera effects and without the shadow cast. So you can see how flat it looks. We have no depth of field. We don't have the grit from the ambient inclusion. We don't have the reflections or the shadows. Now we'll take a look at each one of those being applied one at a time. This is the one with the Stingray Reflections enabled. Again, we can look at it without the effects, and then we can look at the end result with just the Stingray Reflections enabled, and you can see how we have our reflections happening of the different elements of our 3D objects. And this image is the end result with Ambient Inclusion enabled, and you can see how it darkens and brings more depth to your image. The next image, this is the effect with the IBL light that was attached to our camera. This next image is with the shadow cast on. And if you remember, we positioned the light specifically to create the longer shadows taking place. This next image is the Stingray depth of field. We played with this when we were building the base, different parts of the watch. So this is how the end result looked with Stingray depth of field enabled. And once again, here's an image where everything is enabled. And then here's the image without camera effects or the shadow cast. And these tools, these options inside action make a huge difference, bringing a realistic look to your scene inside a flame that you typically would never expect to be able to do inside of an editor compositing application. All right, that's it for this video. In the next video, we're going to take a look at the final setup, everything put together, and also talk about optimizing your workflow and your different options in Flame to work as fast and efficiently as you possibly can.